Yeah, yeah. If anything, it might be closer to two and a half. But based on, based on how long the motions to quash it was a little unpredictable for me, that's why I said three. Okay. And uh, my inclination is when the uh, potential jurors come up, the veneer comes up, uh, that we tell them uh, just to be safe that it's going to be four days. Uh, and my thinking with that is that that gives us all three days. Uh, today, tomorrow, and Thursday to complete the trial itself, uh, and then deliberations if they need to be still into Friday. Um, that way, we just make sure that we get enough people who can definitely um, serve throughout the trial. Does that sound like a good plan to everyone? Yeah. Okay, that's what I'll plan on doing. Uh, anything that we should probably address before the motion to quash, or does it make sense to move on to those next? All right, let's move on to those next. Uh, I have one from uh, G4S. Uh, as an attorney from G4S here. I am, Your Honor. Hi. Good morning, Chris Hawk for G4S. Okay, great. And um, I have your motion to quash. Um, I've read it. Um, I think I understand what the issues are. Uh, and then uh, let me just make sure that I'm understanding the request from the defense. It's G4S policy documents regarding use of force for employees providing security at Portland City Hall on January 9th, 2019. Uh, and uh, he said Mr. Hawk, is that right? It is. All right, anything that you want to add to the uh, written motion? I, I don't believe so, unless you have any questions. All right, uh, not yet. Let's go ahead and hear from Mr. Gilbert anything that you would like to say in response to the motion to quash. Yeah, thank you, Judge. So just a little bit of background. I'm not sure how familiar you are with the facts, but this is regarding uh, incident that happened uh, July 9th at City Hall here in Portland. Mr. Davis was at a council meeting. Uh, he was ejected. In the process of being ejected, um, there was some sort of physical interaction between Mr. Davis and the security there, security which is provided by G4S. Uh, Mr. Davis was injured, I believe it was to his hand. He received a, a scratch or a cut, and there was bleeding. Um, Several so, puncture wounds. Several, he would justify several puncture wounds. Um, and uh, and there's also an allegation of criminal mischief based on um, actions that are alleged that are alleged that Mr. Davis took that involved that blood. So we're asking for the use of force policy to know what what the employees that Mr. Uh, Davis was interacting with that day, what they were uh, required or advised to do uh, in that particular date and time. And I do think this is relevant. Uh, not only was he injured by their use of force, um, but they would also be useful for uh, impeaching any, any testimony of anyone uh, regarding anything about the appropriate level of force in the process of, of having Mr. Davis ejected from the process. And um, let me just sort of uh, push that out a little bit more. So the use of force that uh, the security agency used is relevant to the charges here because of potential for bias? The witnesses were testifying. I'm not. I'm not making connection. Because I was injured, and yeah. there was a use of force, and <laughs> there's a former trial where use of force was used on me by a keeper as where okay. security guard tackled me, and they released that use of force policy if we were going to go to trial. But and keeper argued against it before the judge said, "No, you used force on Mr. Davis, so you have to." Uh, Present your use of force if you're going to trial, and I am kind of expecting the same thing today since they used use of force and they even escalated their level of force to physically attacking me. And the guy just dug his claws straight into my hand and punctured my and hand in I, several places. I think so, I understand all of that, but tell me how that is relevant if, to the elements of the offense yeah, or any right. defense that you're using. So if, if the use of force that was actually used that day is not consistent with their use of force policy, uh -huh. that would be helpful to establishing bias. Um, it would tend to show that there was something more going on 
I was also threatened not by g s before the meeting started. It, 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 it. Yeah, in just a few ground rules, Mr. Davis, um, it's important not to interrupt people uh, in court when they're talking, especially with your own attorney. Uh, if you have something that you need him to know, um, 